What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Video here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we finished our investigations. I am going to go ahead and do a swift run through of our evidence, truth bullets, uh, before we even start uh, the, you know, trial. But we will walk into the uh, sexy statue room. That is what I'm calling it. For the time being, it is just the sexy statue room, um, and uh, deal with it. Anyway, uh, we have. Everyone. Oh, we're, we're talking. Every is everyone ready? <laughs> Not like we have choice, right? <laughs> you are quick to understand, though. It is Monokuma has, or it is though, or it is as though Monokuma has, Monokuma has you trained. We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course, we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Right, Himiko? How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? Wait. That's not even Aikido anymore. Either way. Uh, this matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until That's then. Right. Yeah, let's put an end to this class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we will. Don't worry, guys. It'll happen. We'll, we'll uh, touch the Monokuma statue of happiness and uh, make our way. Totally. That's what we're doing. The sentient Monokuma statue of happiness. I don't think that was the same animation, though. Or was it? It probably it might have been. I was too busy paying attention to it differently last time. The door appeared in front of us with a pomp as if sending the heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped toward that door. Woo! -hoo! Getting in the elevator, we were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door. So yeah, we'll have to investigate our truth bullets again. I remember most of it, most of everything, but it started up again. Jeez, I'm no, I'm scared for when like this elevator, amount of people going down this elevator goes like and shrinks heavily because we're not at that point yet where it's like, dang, we only have a couple people. But when we get to that point, I'm curious who we will have left. Normally, my mind wouldn't be shaking, but I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing has become more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just as when I thought I would pass out from the nerves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The elevator has came to a stop. But this wasn't the end. No, it was only just the beginning. Welcome! Welcome! You hopelessly arrived once again! Huh? Didn't you want to come here again? Because of how wonderful it is. Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Oh, it should be. Actually, we're the ones who use them. Or use the exosils to build this classroom. Just, but father just took all of the credit. But I am happy to be used as a slave by father. What are you saying? You idiots are really competent to the, uh, the committing to this henchman bit. They are so oh, you guys are so cute. I can't help but working you to the bone. <laughs> uh, so you put a lot of elaborate detail into making this courtroom almost like it's for a show. Oh. For show, huh? <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it. Mm -hmm. Is this just for show? Are you showing this to people outside and <laughs> <laughs> those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not, not with us. As in, they're no longer with us. And you know what I mean. In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. Uh. Then the class trial began. Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us to get out of here with us. For that, 
He was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is here right now. See, now they're getting the red. That's interesting. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all, but... If this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. And kaede has gone. kaede has not there. I will find the truth and get everyone out alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here. In order to keep my promise to her. It is so weird to me yet, still, that Rantaro is not on this screen. Like, it throws me for a loop and makes me think that there's more to Rantaro. If that makes any sense. Because typically, I feel like if he was on the screen, it'd be fine. There, there has to be more Rantaro than I know. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this truth trial of truth and lies. Oh, we will fight as hard as we can, but we're going to get a classic, uh, a bunch of classic gamer fumbles. Uh, will I laugh off a blunder? We'll find out. Probably. But we're, we're going to get to the point where I'm going to start having to laugh off blunders, right? Like, that's going to happen. I can't... Uh, view our handbook have been completed. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death, so you better vote for someone. Now, let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max trial underway! I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's We're going to we're going to talk about Why Himiko not? first. Work together everyone. Okay, I mean we're 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 uh we're blaming uh, Himiko first. Um, the person who's most suspicious is Now let me your energy everyone so we can catch the culprit. <laughs> Tekko is this is the definition of white knighting. <laughs> because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be yeah! I'm in top form today. <laughs> Tenko, why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk over me. <laughs> I actually agree with Kokichi here. Like, I don't think he becomes the culprit at all, but we have to still just establish that possibility or that impossibility. Huh? I'm not interrupting you. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males want to talk about is S. Himiko seems suspicious. Oh, Angie, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. Hey, Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what Atua is telling me. He is using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. I still don't believe you're a Tua BS. But Screw a Tua. That guy's got nothing on me. I don't I don't agree with the Tua log or uh, the uh, Tua logic, but I do agree with Angie in the we need to we need to knock out Himiko. We that I mean, we got the the way that we can do this is argue Himiko's innocence, Tekko. We can do it. But it does point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Yes, but I don't think so. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She was the one performing the trick. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. Himiko, it's not the time! It was magic. It's 
not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true. Angie's Atua thing is scary. It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. But there's no trick. That really was magic. Stop! Yeah, maybe it really was magic. Gata, Gata, Gata. No, 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 no. Oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. And then we'll all die thanks to you, Himiko. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute, tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. We're not arguing that! I get that you want to defend her, but that might be a bit much. As I expected, the others suspect Himiko. But I have my doubts. Exactly, Shuichi! This- Shuichi is right in line with where my brain's at. I- ever I knew everyone was gonna come in ganging on Himiko, but I don't think she's the culprit. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. Yes! Uh, please! Uh, I am the ultimate detective, so it is up to me. Yes, it is! We have to prove this wrong, okay? The, you are you are me right now, Shuichi. We're we got this. Well, I mean, I probably don't. You got this. <laughs> okay. The culprit used the underwater escape trick to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Riona. After that, the time ran out. The tank about Riona opened and piranhas came pouring out. That's not the. Ah, and he was eaten alive. To bone by piranhas. Savage way to go. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape was no trick. It's magic. It, stop it, Himiko. The first time, Titless. No one cares. <laughs> Thanks, Miu. I actually needed that. Ryoma's body was eaten by the piranhas that fell into the tank. That is the fact, but that doesn't mean that it was the cause of death. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. The culprit used the underwater escape trick. He drowned. It was in the Monokuma file too. After that, the time ran out. The tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Ah, and he was eating a lot. That's wrong. Thank you, Shuichi. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. So it wasn't the piranhas then. He was drowned. Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news to me. The Monokuma file is the first thing you get to start an investigation, Kokichi. You might want to read the thing. Telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male. So what? Ryoma drowned, Himiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him, right? No, Himiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Exactly. So there's no way Ryoma drowns in that time frame. Even if they change places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. Exactly, Kibo. If that is the case. Then when did he drown? When did Ryoma drown? It was obviously... Speaking of when Ryoma... Uh, before the show started. That's it! He was already dead long before. Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. Agreed. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. Yes. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. Could that mean his body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Yes. Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank, and then show it during the act. 
Easier said than done. Agreed. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Oh, wait. Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Because it's magic. Oh, my God, Himiko. You know, maybe it really was magic. We're looping in circles because you literally won't expose yourself. Shut up. Himiko is committed to her act. But those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Thank you, Kyo. Why Kyo. is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. <laughs> it's because she's not giving us anything. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. <laughs> oh, Samugi. Oh, Samugi. Man, we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. That more than likely it was in backstage. But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. Then let's work together to reveal the secrets behind Himiko's trick. Yeah, I mean, if she's not gonna tell us, we'll just figure it out ourselves. So, not real magic? Correct, Gonta. No, it was real magic. 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 Oh, no! It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! Aren't incantations usually more, um, complicated than that? Yep. Anyway, we first need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. I can't figure that out. The, if I, we can't figure out the if we cannot figure that out, this case is gonna go nowhere. Exactly. Handcuffs, glass pane. The glass pane is what I want to go for first. Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. No. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. I agree. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. Oh wait, that's that's uh that's not the right thing. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Oh, oh, d d d d d d oh I thought it didn't. I thought that didn't count. What does that prove? I just threw an idea out there. You need to. You don't need to agree with me. I just assumed that the trick was that, or that the, if the, that a trick that dangerous would have some sort of escape hatch. Yeah, the plane. Oh, no. I guess it's not. Okay. How did Himiko escape the water tank? Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. It must be real magic! Yeah! Real escape magic! Maybe there were two Himikos. And one of them was Sumugi in disguise. No, that literally can't happen. Costumes or disguises. There was sort of, yeah, exactly. How did Himiko escape the water tank? Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hat. They, oh, I, I wrong thing. I, I pointed to the secret hatch. What that would have been, which is the glass pane. Mine Got it. Correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. Hmm. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. Yeah. So that's what I was. That when I saw a glass pane, the square glass pane. That's what I was talking about. Is the literal square pane. So I was just. Himiko or uh, Tanko, what are you doing? No, your logic is all wrong, Shuichi. Okay. What do you mean? I guess we're wrong. Gotta back off now. And you don't even know why you're 
wrong either. Typical degenerate male. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel. Tanko, 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 Tanko. The side of the tank being open doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And now, I'm gonna punch you! I can't let Tango intimidate me. I gotta counter her argument. The side of the tank being open doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And now, I'm gonna punch you! Advance. Wait a second. Before you punch me, what makes you so sure she didn't? Yes. Thank you. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. It did, though. The puddle, the puddle, the puddle, the puddle, the puddle, the puddle, the puddle. It's not there. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, the wet staircase. Yeah, 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 yeah. If she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. I'll cut through your words. There was water, Tanko. You just didn't look hard enough. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Meaning, the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance, allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase also has an escape hatch, one facing away from us. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. However, that person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. Yep. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Exactly. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! Ooh! <laughs> they pulled her freaking thing forward. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But... Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. She changed. Behold the magic, magnificent underwater escape. Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. No, magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. She changed. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's because she changed her uniform. We literally all have like 800 spare uniforms. Why would she not the change? The inventory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? Kibo, smarty pants. I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning. Carrying a uniform and a towel. Ah! Ah! Why would you say that? 
I see. She had a towel, too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet! Because her body repels water! Huh? Like a duck? <laughs> Himiko, come on. Give it up already. Fine. You win. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. So I was correct. But, but that doesn't mean I use them. I didn't need them. Because I used my magic. Oh my god, this trial. Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? I am like with a lot of these people right now. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Yes, yes, Kyo. Let's just ignore the BS of Himiko. Yes. Let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. Yes, it could have, but the way I'm thinking about that is that there's a how to that. But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? That's yeah, 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 yeah. Gonta, yeah, yeah. So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? <laughs> Miu, I don't think that's what happened, but that's funny. That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. At the same time... She could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. Yeah, but in a minute, that doesn't seem likely. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Wait a minute. Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? You, but I hope... That's hoping a little bit too much. She's still on the back foot. Oh, I feel bad. Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us. So why are you accusing her? You may think you're protecting Himiko. But what if she really is the culprit? I mean, your logic's not wrong. We'll all die. And it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. What? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. See, but I'm again, I'm with Tenko. I don't think Himiko murdered. I want to believe in her. I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. Okay, we're st still gonna get more. I love the effect of Himiko being pulled up, though, because she's on the hot seat. The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. <laughs> when Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. I uh, How do we prove this wrong? And simply switched places with it. Because I don't agree with this Are line you of thinking. You saw that happen? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. When the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically no one saw anything. Oh wait, no, Gata did! Gata did! Gata did! Gata did! Gata did! Gata did! Yes, because Gonta would have... No, no, no. Because Gonta would have seen that happening and Gonta would have literally been like... Yeah, 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 yeah. She's not a con artist and she doesn't have donkey lips. Uh... Yeah, Gonta saw it. Gonta saw it. Is Himiko herself? Is this... 
She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Is this the second uh, point of Kokichi's that we're arguing wrong, by the way? And simply switched places with it. No. I'm not I'm not gonna question myself. I'm not questioning myself. No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. When the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically no one's oh. That's wrong! Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Yes. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yes. Y yeah. Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. Exactly, which proves Himiko's innocence. Perfect. Moving forward. In Himiko's innocence proven. Angie. What do you what do you have to say about that? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, that's perfect, Gonta. You're perfect. No, that's actually a great clue. Because if Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Himiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means. If the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? Doubtful. Not happening. She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. For the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster and seems more rational, too. Then Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? No. Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden or I'm gonna start cutting throats! We might need that, Miyu, let's be honest. Where was Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down, we do. It is clear it was not inside the staircase, but where? Hiding Ryoma's body. It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Yep. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. Yep. But if the body and piranhas were separated... Oh no, that's what I want to agree with! Correct. Why was he not eaten by the piranhas even though he was in the same tank? There was, uh, there was one piece of evidence in the crime that might explain that. If the body and were separated. No, I missed! Oh my god! Then it wouldn't have been ah! correct. I hope I'm like I hope I am like missing the wrong point. Because if I have the right point on hand on you deck, I'm gonna be upset that I missed it twice. It wasn't really in this but if the body and piranhas were separated. I had the same point! I actually had it! Let's freaking go! But also, god damn it, I freaking have terrible aim. Okay. Thank you! Thank you, Kyo! We love you! Accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. Just as I thought. Yes, buddy! I love you, Kyo. You're great. Using that glass pane as a divider. A safe space could be created in the tank. Yup. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. Then that means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time! So Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? No. Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? 
Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. That's true. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. Right before the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off, and then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside straight, or right, fell straight into the water tank. Himiko is swimming in. Huh? Huh? No. No. When the oh, frick! From the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. You know, now that Gonta think about it, Gonta might see Ryoma's body. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. Okay. The water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. The piranhas. A certain something? We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Yeah? How could you hide a body like that? How they could seal the culprit uh, in the piranha tank. The cram piranhas, you just add more. This is it. It was the piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Huh? The piranhas? That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like a str uh, I feel like there are more piranhas yesterday than today when we were preparing. Yeah. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how, that but... Way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. It's that the space decreased. The team divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. Yeah. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was the lid from the piranha tank. It was really easy to detach that lid. So it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. It's not useless, though. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful. Sure, the lid looks a little big. But if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! With this much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you! Me? Really? Yeah! Because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him! Flawed logic. We now have other suspects. But yes. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Exactly. Flawed logic from Tanko, but I still agree with Tanko. Okay, but still, that's way better. Exactly. That's wonderful news, Himiko. Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Angie. You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now. Atua is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. What a petty ass god. Facts. No, it's okay. You shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. I'm, I, I, I agree. Oh, Himiko. Bless your sweet, kind heart. I, I can't, I can't ignore, I can't, I can't say she's wrong. That's what Atua said anyway. You make one good point.
And then you absolutely shatter it with the Atua thing.